What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, you know, today I want to talk about something very interesting, okay? This is a very, very interesting story we want to talk about today. I got this actually from Facebook. And you know what? Like, I, I really want to talk about accountability, especially in the black community, because, you know, it seems a lot of times that we don't have this with regards to accountability for one's actions. And instead of not being responsible for our situations, we can point the finger at others, which could absolve us from, you know, any infraction that could have occurred during that process. Such is the case with this young lady we're gonna talk about today. Now, she is not out of the ordinary. She's not out of the ordinary when it comes to, you know, young women in the black community who make a bad decision. And they will hook up with a man, which we would know as like a casual hookup, something that doesn't have any commitment to it. But then the commitment, the, 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 the fling rather, turns into something that's lifetime when a child is produced. Now, I don't know if, if protection is something that's being used, but in, in any case, a baby's produced, and typically the baby's produced on the, the mother's recontinence, okay? So she decides to have the child. Now she wants to have the baby beside, it doesn't matter if the guy is gonna be there. She has no interest in being with this man long-term and he has no interest in being with her long-term but she expects because she got pregnant because you know they both were messing around that this guy should be there and sometimes this is the the case is the guy wants something to do with you or the baby because he was just you know messing around with you and that's all he wanted you wanted a baby out the ordeal he didn't want that and then he that's one thing to do with you. Well, this happened to this particular young lady we're gonna watch a video about today. She got a baby daddy, he didn't want to be in her life, and he dumped her, okay? She saw the guy in the store, right? He wouldn't acknowledge her, okay? And then when the cashier asked him, you know, what is he gonna be doing at some point today or tomorrow, he's like spending time with his kids, the kids he wants to take care of not the kid that she had but the other kids so she starts crying about this and i want to like play this video because so many people felt sorry for her um let's go ahead and play that video here so i had a fight with my boyfriend and i went in dollar tree to make a like a i'm sorry basket and as i was approaching the line y'all the man who got me pregnant from our one from like our couple of counters when we was just supposed to be like friends and he abandoned me once he found out I was pregnant y'all I just saw him at Dollar Tree and we locked eyes and he knew it was me and he never tried to make no more contact he barely wanted to talk the man at the register asked him how was his Halloween and I had to hear that man say that he took his kids trick or treating but he didn't acknowledge my child <laughs> okay so you 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 heard what she had to say now again this is not for me to be you know rude to her or anything like that you know I, I i'm not trying to do that you know that's not the case here the case is not that but what i want to say is and shout out to brother actual it was ultimate black men's radio okay and her son is two years old. This is actually on a TikTok. And the thing about it is this, why didn't you choose a man to have a baby by that was gonna be in your life? Like, why didn't you respect yourself enough? You know, like you had a baby and, 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 and number one, you're already, you, you said you were with your boyfriend. Let's stop the show. If your boyfriend is helping you raise a child, you know, why are you so upset about this guy, okay? and you haven't seen him since you were pregnant. Why? I mean, like, why did you choose this guy? And and I guess she expects that people are gonna, you know, feel sorry for her about this. People are gonna feel sorry. No, 
I, I just, for me, I don't. Oh my God. All right. And if you feel sorry for her, it's a bad decision because she should have had more respect for herself to demand more of a commitment than that, than to have a baby by a guy that's not going to care about her. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. All right. Just being honest. And when situations like this happen, then a lot of times brothers get blamed. Why don't people like her get blamed? She needs to be blamed for making a bad decision, making the bad decision in the wrong man. And the thing about it is this, not only do you make the wrong decision in the wrong man, things like this continually happen, like in a constitutive matter, no matter what guy she's with, don't respect yourself. You go in and do the same thing again with another guy. You stupid. And standards are important in the black community because what happens is this, the son is two years old. Son doesn't have anything to do with this. If this son grows up to look like that father who has abandoned her, because the guy probably told her, look, I don't want anything to do with you like that. I'm just doing this. We're just having fun. I don't want a baby. You're the baby anyway. And then, you know, you get rejected because he actually has kids. He actually likes and doesn't like you. It's a possibility that young, that young boy can be targeted by that mother. She can treat him bad because of how she felt about the father, you know? And again, she could be not telling the truth. We don't know, but this is the situation. That situation. And unfortunately, you know, like I said, I, I you know, it, it, it's uh, it's nothing to laugh at. It's nothing to talk bad about somebody, but with, but you know, the, the situation is this, you reap what, you know, you reap what you sow, all right? And when you play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. And as much as you want to blame the guy for this, there's a certain level of accountability that you must blame yourself. And that needs to happen. So guys, I mean, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Check out the first comment pinned to the top, guys. You will see everything here that we have. You'll see my Patreon, all these other things. And, you know, and guys, thank you so much. I really thank you for the support. And as you know, the buffoon remains the awesome. I don't forget to check out the um, Patreon, the Black Men Are Perfect Teachers, guys. Thank you for supporting me here on this channel. And as you know, the buffoon remains the all time high. I'm out.